Yo, you still in bed? Get up. You gotta do a reptile room tour. Why are you always shirtless, dude? It's not because I definitely don't not want to not <laughs> be not wearing a not shirt. What's good, guys? Let's get started here. Uh, we'll just start from our bottom up. So this is my reptile room tour. Uh, let's jump into it. Rocky the wall python is doing pretty darn good. Oh man, the water was spilled. Yay. Okay. Come here, dude. That's not a spider. Well, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. Okay. There he is. He's doing good. Is that your first snake? This is my first snake. First reptile? Yes. No, what? Nice. It's not my first reptile, it's my first snake. <laughs> he enjoys doing snake hobbies and activities <laughs> on the weekends. I have fun let him out with his friends. And So aside from doing snaky hobbies on the weekends, uh, I feed him usually large rats. He's in a 48 quart tub. I believe it's 48 quarts. It's like that big. You better get something bigger before the reptile police come gets you. Yeah, because everyone knows Bob Pythons, you know, they do terrible on rack and tub systems. <laughs> Ask Brian Barczyk. If you guys you know who that is, you, you should if you're watching this. Alan, watch out, there's a snake right there. Oh no. Spider <laughs> for about four seconds now. He's doing really good. What's his name? I got him eating pinhead crickets and fruit flies. His name is Speedel Castro. Aw. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here are Chris's toes and some collared lizards here. Get your toes out of the way, nobody wants to see them. All right, so the collards are doing really good. They're very collared lizardy. I enjoy doing collared lizardy things on the weekends when I let them out. This is the dad for Zeus, my collared lizard. Super nice. Look at this blue. Look at him. Wow, nice. he's gonna eat you! Oh my I god! Can't wait until mine gets this nice. Look at that. It's like, oh my gosh. Look at this blue and yellow. Super yeah, he's nice. pretty sexy. Love this guy. How old is he? He's Jesus. Uh. Two, three, four. He's like five or six. Really? Yeah, he's like five or six. I was just turned like one year old. Like when was it? Like th three days ago? Two days ago? Yeah, like two days ago. Ours turned one year old officially. And how long does it take for ours to get this nice? At least a year and a half to two years. Wow, uh, still got some time. Ah, uh, relax, girl. It's okay. And there's the mom for. This is for the Zeus. mama. She's small. And she's not as cool looking. But she's, she's not, still she's cool. She's not as cool looking, but she produces some nice babies. She sure did. What's, wait, what's, what's her name? I don't know. You don't have a name for them? You want to name them? You know what that means. Comment below, guys, for naming these guys. Yeah, you got this yeah. one? Oh, hey, Eric. Yeah. You got this one and then this one, guys. So, comments and names for these guys to help him out because he's a bad owner and doesn't want to name his reptiles. It's not that I don't want to name them. It's just that I don't have, really want to name them. So, you have I haven't many. really had a chance to name them, you know? Wait, how many do you have in total? I don't know. Animals? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One is in my house somewhere. In your 11, house? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wait, did one escape or what? Yeah, my house gecko got out. No. I don't know where he is. This is the second time he got out. Damn. Um, so yeah, what? I don't know where he is. I, I, I found him in my living room not too long ago. And then I put him back in here, and then I opened my closet like a day later, and he was in my closet, and I tried to grab him, and he disappeared. So, it's a house <laughs> gecko. They live in houses. He'll be fine. Exactly. All right, guys, next in the tour will be my red and black walking frogs, or some people know them as Ghana fire frogs. Probably sleeping. Oh, there they are. Yeah. What did you say about these guys, that they never jump? They always walk? Yeah, they walk everywhere. It's really weird. I'm trying to get them to like move a little more so you can see what their movement is like. But they like I've seen them do like little mini hops, mm -hmm. but they really just like don't move a whole lot as far as they're like a weird type of frog. They honestly, sorry, I move my hand. It's like a tree frog, mm -hmm. but they don't really like they're not a boreal at all. And they have these weird faces, kind of like a salamander, dude. They're they're a really unique oh, species. Oh, that one looks cool. Look at his back. Is that the one like that or? Yeah, they're oh. both kind of like this. This one's just bigger, I think, is because it's a female. Yeah, that one's nice. 
But yeah, if, you've, if you even like look just straight at her face, they don't have a regular frog like face. It's like really, uh, I guess what's the word, like short mm -hmm. and like stocky. All right guys, so Chris is starting a new channel for reptiles and whatever he wants to do. Uh, what's going to be the name, Chris? Have you thought about it yet? Um, it's probably going to just be my name, like just Chris, Chris Hermosillo. Hermosillo. So once he makes his channel and posts his videos, I'm going to put the link in the description. So Unless I think of something cooler, we'll, you'll know. It'll be in the description. But as of right now, I think it's just going to be my name. Yeah. Because I'm not very creative. He's a funny guy, and then he also has a bunch of reptiles like me. So you guys be sure to subscribe to him so you guys can get more of his life. Here's uh, my living vivarium. It has a red-eyed tree frog. Dendrobates, Leucamela, Fine Spot, Dart Frog. It had a house gecko, but he is now part of the house. <laughs> uh, and then two guppies. It's doing really well. We have the frog out so you can see him. His colors look really good. The Dart Frog's in the background. He's hunting some flies. He's doing his thing. I'm glad he's not too shy right now. So we could see him. There's been no issues keeping multiple species together because they keep it really lush in there. There's a lot of places for both animals to go. Not to mention, one's diurnal and one's nocturnal, so they don't see much of each other. Also, a lot of people have been asking if I have any filtration in the water or anything like that. I don't have any filtration. All the, wa all the water plants and even the terrestrial plants have started to grow into the water. They help remove the nitrates and keep the water really clean. Like, if you look at this water, it's pretty crystal clear, and it's been days since I've changed it. You just gotta make sure if you're gonna do this that you have a lot of plants in the water. And then usually like some kind of animals in the water that'll provide the, the nitrates, like something that's gonna be basically peeing and pooping in the water, like fish. And then that'll help the plants, the plants will help the fish, they'll oxygenate it, blah, 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 and voila. You're gonna have a really cool paludarium. But yeah, this is super nuts. I'm probably thinking about doing this exact same thing. Yeah. And you haven't seemed to have a problem with them? No. The only problem I did have was when I had the newt in here, he tried eating the poison dart frog. Oh yeah. But the newt's no longer in here. But. How long have you had these two together? Forever. Like I months. also I also kept them with fire salamanders at one point. I yeah. didn't have any problems, no. Well, I feel like it's been like around like a s six to eight months that they have been together and they've been doing perfectly fine. They're both eating and then they have no problems because isn't this one like that nocturnal? One, yeah, the the tree frog is nocturnal and the day f and the dart frog is diurnal. The day frog. But yeah. yeah. And even if they did see each other, I don't think there'd be much of an issue. And there you have the dart frog and the red-eyed tree frog together. They're best friends. Look at them. And then you have the guppies down here. Where are they? There is one there and the other over there. All right, guys. In here, we got my pair of adult crested geckos. We got Amber. That's the female up in the corner. The mom for my crested gecko, Spider-Man. We got Spot over here, the dad. dad. They're doing really good. I have him eating Pangea fruit mix. Oh, he's gonna do it. I have him eating Pangea fruit mix and crickets. That fruit mix is like crack to them. They love it. And they're breeding like crazy, guys. He has like how many babies? I got seven right now. Seven You'll of them. You'll see him. We'll show we'll show them to you guys right now. But they are breeding like crazy, like. Every like month he like finds like babies. Crumb. Yeah, I'll just I'll walk by the cage and I'll just see a baby like right here. And I'll be like, Well, I got new ones. <laughs> After the collection. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing super good. I'm really happy. Tanks thriving too with all the live plants. Oh and by the way guys, these are the two extra terra tanks that I've been talking about. Um, you know, Chris's tanks, the one that who helped me with to build mine. If you guys want to see the tutorial on how to build them. Be sure to click on the link in the description. I'll put the link in there so you guys can see how to do it. Mine is kind of similar to this one with the plants, but with the background and the, that kind of background into it. So hopefully one day it will kind of look like this. Good. These plants are like thriving. They're doing really good. Here There's something in here. What's in there? Something. Plants? Yes. So in here is my baby red-eyed tree frog. A wee lad. There he is. He just looks like a piece of gum. It is a piece of gum. It's green. Alright, let's wake him up. He's tiny. I got him eating little crickets, like small, like one week old crickets. Whoa! Um, 
he's just in a little, I mean, you could see the size of the tank I'm keeping him in. It's small. Like, because he's really small. But eventually when he gets bigger? I'm going to move him into here. Just right now, he's so small, I feel like he could get eaten by the bigger one. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, I'm just keeping him on his own, but when he gets bigger, I'll move him into the living vivarium. Nice. Hoping it's a female, because I know I, he's a male. The big one's a male. So I'm really hoping this one's gonna be a female. A nice little breeding project, that'd be so cool. Yeah, dude, if I and can get... you can give me some. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm probably not gonna wait that long, I'll probably just get one soon. Yeah. There's the other one over there. It's kind of like three times the size of this one, or more. And then... I'll try to see if you can see a size comparison here. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Don't put him too close to it. He won't go for it, dude. Yay, meeting for the first time. What do you guys think? Do you think he can eat him? Maybe. Maybe he can definitely do some damage to his legs or something. Yeah. I wouldn't want to chance it. That's the thing. Yeah, just wait, dude. Wait until he gets, like, at least, like, half the size of him. Or at least close to the size of him. The until you can move him in. Yeah. The smaller one has, like, deeper redder eyes. The other ones are kind of orange. What's the name? This one's Snoop Dogg, and this one's Wiz Khalifa? No. Wiz Khalifa is the dart frog, so we'll have to have a new name for the new red eye. Probably like Ice Cube or something. <laughs> in here, guys, are all the baby crusty geckos. Seven There's babies. seven in here. There's a lot. So. I'm going to be taking one of them because they're like too cramped in there, so... I have, I have like an extra tank, so I, I can just like take care of them until they get bigger. Yeah. I'll give them back to you. There's one. There's two. <laughs> so many babies. There's three. There's four. Ah, guys, don't move. I see five and six. Oh my gosh, they all look the same, they're like all twins. If you look closely, there's a little bit of difference on some of them, but most of them all kind of look like the same. Back. Yeah, like this little guy here is kind of a rough pattern on his back, while some have a smooth pattern. One of them's almost a pinstripe. Mm -hmm. um, hang on, there's two more in here. Okay, there's one. Damn, dude. I think this so is the newest one to get born. You can see how tiny he is oh, yeah, compared to the others. Good. And these are all from the parents. And there's one more. And this guy has been doing some work. And I feel sorry for the female. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is the partial pinner. If you look at its back, do you see the two lines going down its back? Kind of the broad lines? Yeah. Yeah, it's partial pinstripe. Never had that. And they before. all had their tails, huh? All of them, yeah. Cool. Look at that, guys. Put them in the light. Look at that. That is a lot of baby crusty geckos. geckos. These things, just know what you're getting into because you're going to have a lot of babies. <laughs> They're, like rabbits. They're honestly not very hard to house and take care of, but I'm just saying. Something to consider because you will have a lot. Don't fight me, Mr. Snuggles. Is he hissing? Yeah, but Damn. he's a happy snake. He's a oh, happy wow. snake. He ain't happy. <laughs> He's like, don't touch me. What kind of what kind of morphism is this? Is this a um, it's a pastel. Pastel, right? Yeah, it's my pastel ball python. He needs a name. He eats large rats. Comment, guys. Comment. He Help him out. does snakey things on the weekends with his friends. <laughs> um, like, is that what you're gonna say for every every snake? Every animal. He does snakey um, things. Yeah, but he's uh he's doing really good. Had this guy for years. Um, Dude, I really want a snake. Yeah, he's snuggly. Just my mom will let me get a snake, but I really want one. He's just a little snuggle bear. Which one's older? This Look, one? Look, a thirsty gecko. Oh my gosh. Bro, what are you doing? We're not done yet. I'm tired. You still got more. You gotta show. What? Are you, hey. Come on. We still have these colored lizards up here. Yeah, but I'm tired. Get up. No. Now. I got this. Here, do it, do it for us. Come on. Be humble. Ah! <laughs> get on, get on. 
<laughs> get get up. So all right, tell us something about the reptiles, Eric. All right, so this one sticks onto walls. Yeah. And he knows nothing. All right, bye guys. Eric, what are you doing? All right, guys. So it's up to you, Chris. Save him. Uh, what's next? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I didn't see you there. You just like blew in my ear. So the color is up there next. Whoa. So up here is babies of these. Yeah, the offspring of the two adult colored lizards you saw. Brother of Zeus, my copper lizard. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. That's like the biggest. That's the biggest baby, right? Yeah, he was the biggest one, and the baddest one, and the coolest one. No, I'm kidding. He's dope though. He's doing really good. He's pounding crickets, um, dubia roaches every now and then, like very rarely I'll give him a bit of greens, like a little bit of like kale or something I'll throw in there, or like if I eat a strawberry I'll throw him the tip and he might munch on it. Um, yeah, he's super cool. He's in a, I don't know what size that exoterra is, maybe like a 24 by 18 by 18, like 24 long or by, or eight by, not even 18 tall, it might be like. 12 tall, 24 by 12 by 18 deep. I don't know, but you could see it's kind of like a short and long tank that he's being yeah. kept in. And then inside his setup, like it's just kind of basic desert environment. I don't know if you can really see that well, but he's doing good. And that's the one you're gonna keep? Yeah, 93% sure I'm gonna keep him. Nah, no, I'm gonna keep him. Like 92%, 97. I'm gonna keep him. And out of the five, or eggs that you had or babies um, only like one came out to be a female right? yeah four males one female yeah and here is the other baby or I shouldn't call it baby anymore because they're like they one year old now yeah they're like a breeding size already I'm too short to get that one you get it or I'll have to get a chair he's super hyper though but then I don't need to take him out you can just yeah. see him right here he's he really really, really nice. blue getting that yellow neck in there Has the same tank set up. So guys, in here I have my friend's crested gecko I'm watching while he's on vacation. And this is actually one of the babies from my adults. Um, so this gecko is super sexy and I produce the best geckos in the world. But besides that, <laughs> um, if you notice when she hangs upside down, her tail flops over and that's no bueno. And that's the result of not having enough things for your gecko to climb on in the tank because they're hanging on vertical surfaces and their tails start to flop over. In the wild, no crested gecko adult has ever been seen with a tail because when they lose them, they don't grow them back and they'll always run into predators. They never have vertical surfaces like glass in the wild, so they never hang like that, so their tails never do that. So that's why it's not natural for them to like even have a tail. So you gotta provide a lot of stuff so that they can climb on so their tails don't do that because it could invert their pelvis and then for females like this, it could cause problems when it comes to egg laying. So, yeah, but she's still really healthy. Came out really, like, really nice. There's a lot of Dalmatian spots as well as, like, flame harlequin colors. So, let's let it just jump on it, on Eric. Eric, so tell us something about this one, Eric. Uh, well, it likes to jump on me. It does? As you can see, yeah. Uh, and I think it likes me. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Love at first sight. I'll probably take it out on a date or something. What do you kiss want? Kiss it, Eric, kiss it. No. <laughs> yeah, tell your dog to help us find a toilet. Oh, Max. Max, help us go find Clyde. Where is he? Go get him. Where's the turtle? Go get Clyde. Go, oh, go get him. Go. Get the turtle. Go. Go get him. Go get him. Go get the turtle. Go get the turtle. Turtle. Oink oink. I'm by the oink oink. Eric, get the wrong. Dude, you don't know anything about animals. Shut up. And he uses this dog to help him find the turtle, which is really cool. Max, where is he? Use your nose. I'll find him before you, Max. I'll find him before you. Go, Max. Find him. Where is he? Is that in there? No. We gotta trust Max. Alright, guys. He found Max, it. Max, you found him. Clyde. What is that? It's a creature. What kind? Is it like a... Box turtle, or I don't know, but I just know it has a shell. Oh, yeah, no, he's <laughs> a three toed box turtle. Um, 
He's cool. He lives in my backyard. He hangs out. He eats berries and worms, and I give him baths. He's a big backyard room. That's why he gets lost sometimes. So we have the help from this guy. Yeah, he always sniff him out. But Max is kind of mean. He likes to flip him over. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Bad dog. Savage. Eric. Yeah. Um, tell us something about the turtle. Okay, so as you can see, okay, so is a cheese. He has a shell. Uh huh. And he likes hiding. Really? Yeah. What else? And he's kind of like, like roundish. Uh -huh. Yeah, as you can see. Uh huh. And he, I think he's a turtle. You think? Yeah. <laughs> he might go. be. <laughs> <laughs> Reptiles 101 with Eric. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give him a subscribe and a like. What are you gonna be posting, bro? Stuff. Exactly. So make sure you follow him. <laughs> oh, really, really. Uh, reptiles, workouts. His uh, dog. My dog. Stuff. Lots of stuff. But he knows a lot about my his girlfriend. reptiles, guys. Oh, bug. Stuff to bother you. And also, guys, we're gonna be going to the Pomona Reptile Expo. Me and him. I don't know about this guy. Oh, but really, guys, he's gonna make a reptile channel. It's just gonna be called Chris Hermosillo, just my name. Yeah. So we're gonna be going to the Reptile Expo. We're gonna be vlogging there. Hopefully, we we'll see you guys there. And until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.